so random, the Gnome Chomskys. <laughs> they were like, what if you, and I'm just sitting there, I just talk about random things and she was just saying. Well, it's just how some of the videos, you know, will get a handful of views and then others will just get like 200 and so, it's so random. There's no way to tell. It's probably got something to do with marketing and I just don't follow her advice. I just said link your store in the description. Don't make it hard for people to buy it. The nurture and the merch? Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's about nurture and nature. But if you can get rid of nature, you nurture someone into the merchandise. Hey, it's not going to be gone before I'm dead. These things. There's a baby out in Idaho. We went to Idaho. Yes, we did. To uh, see each other. Though we had no idea the dark energy that was aligning <laughs> in my sister's mind. Perfect world. Yes. <laughs> and uh, there we met. Look at that. Do you see that? There's going to be somebody that knows this. It's in, uh, what is that place? Goose Point? Goose Point's off of... Uh, you know what I thought it was? I thought it was... Um, I don't have my glasses on. So, oh, you're, it's the... Oh, I know where it is. But I thought it was... Um, like for uh, TV, they used to use that thing to test the, the cameras and stuff. It had. It's almost like naval flags and things. And then you turn around and you got the turvan. <laughs> when was it established? 1934, I don't know, I'm reading it backwards. It doesn't matter. It's amazing it's still serving beer. Especially being that they throw axes in there. So there's your airborne coin. <laughs> there I'd seen stuff on TV about uh, axe throwing or heard it on NPR on Alexa. Oh, she's not here right now. I got nervous. I thought she was going to start fucking giving me shit. She loves me. <laughs> She'll be nice too. I'll tell her to be nice. Well, <laughs> she doesn't love me. She desires me. She loves you and desires me. She's awfully dirty. <laughs> Was before I met you. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure. She still talks shit about you. So we go out. We get out to Idaho where Polka Dots was born last night, all alone. Sometimes people worry about being alone, but all we have to remember, as far as Polka Dots goes, is what Jerry Stiller had to say in Seinfeld. Surrender now! That child was born peacefully and funny thing is in the army when we used to run down the streets of Fort Bragg if you want to know how dirty the goddamn 82nd Airborne Division is we'd sing it to the world you know um, about the hatchet wound that never heals are you familiar with that one it's your vagina oh we would sing about that because somebody would be telling us to sing it. And it turns out I'm an axe thrower. I'm so sorry, it's lewd. It's not my doing. I was always aware when they were trying to put bad ideas into my head. <laughs> and I chose to accept them if I liked them. 
So I went out to axe throwing that night. Um, after the wedding, after I dangled my keys in front of her and everybody, I. And then I went axe throwing. Funk. Turns out I'm pretty good at it. And I got a wooden nickel. What's left? What's left is that I threw axes on the night of Polka Dots' mother and father's wedding. And we had already kindled the fire. <laughs> I was throwing axes to keep myself calm for the coming of the child. Because we are going to be fair to middling mentors. <laughs>